Tent's still here, looking pretty good. It's pretty good. We haven't completely anchored it. There's like a little thing we gotta put down, but it's holding up. So George, the guy who is going to be digging our septic, we might have to do a lagoon. <laughs> but we might do an engineer system. More money though. Um he also is going to help us put down um, some roads, you know, because that hill gets kind of hilly and we want to kind of maintain it a bit. He said the spot for my trailer is doable and so is my mom and dad's. He's going to um, put dirt. Um, we asked him to kind of keep the topsoil for us and he's going to do that with the road. He's going to keep the topsoil for the road of the, uh, the top field. We can kind of use that for the orchard and the berries. So that'll be nice instead of having to pay for soil and it's going to be here. It's perfect. So he's going to do a road down the, the rocky hill that goes down by where we're going to have our berry patch. Won't need as much rocks on it because the rocks won't constantly seep down the ground so it'll be a little less maintenance it'll always be a little uneven and bumpy i'm gonna show you guys where i'm putting my trailer and it's gonna have a great view because there's a drench dug we shouldn't have any problems with too much water or flooding um it should be good plus the trailer is off the ground so it should be fine my front yard i'll have a view of the waterfall a little bit i wanted to be in front of the waterfall because if it's gonna flood i figure it might get worse from the water coming down the waterfall and then going that way and i think i'm i'll be away from the bend so if this floods it'll flood more like that instead of coming all the way up here so that's my front yard and this will be my backyard so it's nice it's 28 feet long, so I don't know how much that is at all, but it'll be going this way. way. That'll be nice. He wasn't worried about leveling it. He said it's definitely doable and it's good. I'm pretty excited. It'll be nice off-grid. Um, we were talking about septic and he said, yeah, you can certainly um, dump the septic in. Uh, we would uh, buy some, like, it's like a, it's basically like a boo cart. Uh, I think that's what we're doing. So it would empty into it and then we would cart it up to the septic tank. Well, we'd cart it up to the septic -y spot and we'd dump it into the septic that way. I don't know how much or how soon, but he was saying he can start the road maybe next week and it would take him two days to put the rock down and then we would kind of have to wait to see when the trailers could be delivered because it's, it's going to be pretty rainy and mucky next week. So we'll see. Uh, we're a little worried about getting them down with the, all the mud, but the gravel will definitely help us. Water. We won't have a really great source of water until the well is dug. And then we then we'll be able to use that and go like full carts or barrels and then take them down and fill up. We'll fill up my trailer and my mom and dad's trailer with the water from the well. But until then, we'll have to do it. We'll have to do it with uh, probably going to find somewhere where we can buy water and do it that way. Um, we could filter creek water if things got really hard for us. If we were something happened, so we got creek water. It seems to be flowing quite a bit, uh, but we'd run it through a Berkey. I'm still not sure if that's completely safe, but it's an option, though it's an option that is very dependable on the weather. It seems to be flowing like five days after a good rain to five. I mean, it's always been flowing actually, so it seems to be okay. And then rain barrels, but that's not really that dependable either. We could do a water tank here. Well, up there, up there that comes down this hill, like a deep grade. You can't really see it, but there's more grade up there. Wait, am I even pointing in the right spot? You guys can't tell. It'd be somewhere far out there and that it might, we might have enough water pressure to be able to use it. Don't know. We'll see. There's all these things that'll be really fun to learn. Charging generators with solar panels and making sure we have a generator that can start up the microwave, start up the AC because that's going to be a problem when the AC is on. You cannot use the microwave or it'll trip a breaker. We're just going to be smart. And then we have to figure out satellite. We have to figure out Wi-Fi. That's going to be a problem. I don't know. We're going to have to figure things out. Mom wants to watch her TV, so we'll have to figure out TV. I'm excited. I just had this overall sense that things are going to just work out. It's, it's gonna be great. It's gonna work out. I don't know. I just feel like well, it's gonna be fine. I feel like this is this is the way we were supposed to do it. Might sound crazy to some people, but I think it'll be great. It'll be really fun. 
think I was thinking because I'll be living up a little bit from here, we can start a chicken rotation system through here that we rotate our chickens all the way down here. And there's a lot of bugs here, a lot of spiders and ticks and everything. So I think we'd be good on, on that. That might be a nice amount of space for them. Pause, gotta get this honeysuckle before we go. Can't leave without pulling out a honeysuckle. So the first attempt to rip this honeysuckle out did not work as well. It just could have ripped part of it off. So he tied a chain around to see if that would help. Come on, it should be nothing. There we go, get that out of there. Woo woo! One less honeysuckle. The fruit trees for the orchard should be delivered anytime this week. We're just sort of waiting for them to show up on our doorstep. I've been dreaming about what size they're going to be. I know they're going to be small, but my brain says they're going to accidentally deliver an entire tree. <laughs> but uh, they're going to be delivered to our, our current house, not here, and we're going to have to take them here and plant them. So we're going to have um, some of the topsoil from our house area way up there from the road. They're going to be scraping out and putting gravel on for us to use the orchard. Some of the soil by where my mom and dad want to put their trailer. I'll show you where they're going to have theirs too. It looks like it's going to break apart. This is footage from when dad first fixed the moped. It's going to pop up in the next video. We try to answer the question, <laughs> can we even drive a moped at the ranch? Just normal, guys. What else? Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.